Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're back with Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown, doing our campaign playthrough, and this is exactly where we left off, so let's get going. We left off uh, after we had destroyed the second arsenal bird, and now we are well into the drone fight against the Hugin and Munin drones. The ADF-11, I believe, is what they are actually called. Unfortunately, I do know what's going to happen because I recorded this and then all of my audio got lost. So this is actually my second playthrough, and yeah. So we're gonna try and do this in one shot, not die, and do what we can. So yeah, hope y'all enjoy the ride. I'm gonna let the exposition tell its story. See, I don't know what happens though, because usually if I talk over this, I don't get copyright claimed. If I don't talk over it, I do. So, I mean, it, it's like a 50 50. So rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. But while she explains this, I would like to say thank you to everyone for the support that the channel has received over the past. 10 months that story gives me a little um hope, we started mid february i believe so it has been well, almost exactly hope, 10 months not. we've grown this war keeps going on like so much larger than i actually Look thought we would everything. um almost 600 people so far and military, that i absolutely love planes. that i do this for Some every one of you that we're going to be delivered to bases and, and occupied territory yeah don't be afraid to leave comments down in the section below if y'all would like to see the Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown yeah. No Commentary Ace Mode S-Rank playthrough. Because I know, I get very tiring. I, I drone on about every little thing. I'm so sorry. Mission 20, Dark Blue! My favorite color is actually Royal Blue, but I'll take Dark Blue. I'll Trigger. take it. Everyone, listen up! The there we are, shooting down the arsenal bird. Beautiful. Pink. We didn't shoot down the arsenal bird in that direction, though. The arsenal bird was rotating the other direction, and we shot it down flying in the direction it was just flying from. This game doesn't... No continuity. None. None. Cinema sends. <laughs> Ace Combat 7 skin. Sends. Ugh. Sin number one. Trans oh, well, that's not very good. We do not want that. Could you imagine a flight of the ADF-11s? Not just two of them, but like six, like a full flight, like three pairs. That would absolutely decimate everything. They they would probably win against an Air Force, legitimately. The question is, could those drones manage to modify the manufacturing process enough to make new arsenal birds because then we're really screwed because the arsenal birds were technically drones too the arsenal birds were unmanned so i mean technically the drones i suppose if they re if they did enough they could do that all right we're going to start the mission um, as much as I want to use my F-22... Oh, I don't know. <sighs> we should use the own drone against itself. That'd just be dirty. We have the Strike Waver and we have the Su-57, which is a beautiful aircraft, but I'm not really sure I want to use that. We have the Su-30, the Su-30S, the Su-33, the Su-30M2 multi-role fighter um the mig 29 the mig 21 bis the typhoon still a great aircraft the yf-23 also known as black widow and probably one of my most favorite aircraft in the world not because of its capabilities i just think it looks amazing the yf-22 probably my favorite most or the f-22 not yf y is the designation for an experimental f-22 probably my most favorite production aircraft without a doubt mm. see i just don't know what aircraft to use like i think in honor of uh yeah i think in honor of our previous opponent being 
That's the flanker D. And where, where's the one with the front canards on it? Let me preview. Do you have the front canards? No. All right, we need the one with the front canards because that's the one I want. There we go. So we're going to be using the 35S? No. So just the 33, I suppose, has the canards. All right, so the SU-33 with a high-powered, hyper-velocity air-to-air. I don't know if that's a good idea, honestly. Um, the drones are super maneuverable, so if we could possibly buy something that's a little bit more uh, SU-33. has nothing but the HVA. Okay, so what if we go down the road, go to the SU-30 M2, and what do we have? No, nothing. SU-30 SM? We do have the Quam, so we may have to use the SU-30 SM. Okay, that's fine. So we'll use the SU-30 SM. Where's the SU-30 SM? The SU-30 Mark II. Okay, yeah, we'll use that. It's got the HPA. Is that another hyper-velocity missile? High power air-to-air. -air. Ooh. They have a lot of damage, though. They do have a lot of damage. What happened to the SM? Is the SM a multi-roll? Oh, it is a multi-roll. Okay. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. Stop it. So the SM... You know, we're gonna go for a classic, actually. We're gonna go... Where is it? Is it an attacker, technically? Where does it fall under, I wonder? Is it the 47? Yeah, there we... No. SM, where is it? I can't find the aircraft I'm looking for. Is it the 35S? Yes. 711 Terminator. What is this? Lamb. Extremely long range air to air. If the target evade ones. So we'll use the Lamb, I suppose. Ugh. I, I'm not comfortable using the SG 35S. I'm just. Ugh. No, we're just going to use something else. We're going to use the 30 Mark II. It's already got some equipment. We're gonna select our parts. Onboard, directional proximity, thrust, standard miss, increase special missile, load limit, and we'll do lock on, lock on range homing capabilities is what we need so we're gonna do take away some of the damage from that and increase our homing capabilities from our more high-powered weapons and then we can still select a new part so we're gonna do um, doo -doo -doo -doo, Queen's custom because that's an all-around improvement we're gonna select a skin do we have any extra skins oh we have the soul skin that is the skin we're using we're gonna fly Honestly, we're going to do this in honor of, uh, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to use an SU. I think this is my first video using an SU aircraft. So we're going to, we're going to try this. Operation Hush, Mission 20, Dark Blue, 1st of November, 0700, Gunther Bay. Take down the new UAVs. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so let's try this. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I've never used this aircraft. Um, aircraft. But we're going to see how it goes. And ideally it goes well. Maybe. Can I use this? If we're lucky. Hey, can you hear me? I don't know how lucky we're going to get, condition. but we can try. I even buffed up the canopy for a nice shine. Oh yeah. Can really see the sky. Can really see the blue. Alright, pilots. 
Let's see what we can have happen here. Let me see that. Trigger. Wish I could have flown with you. I think I'm playing an injury. It's kind of sad that Lonza can't fly with us, but we're going to be flying with Soul Squadron, so. Wee. All right. First time flying this aircraft for a video, so we're going to see how it goes. Um Honestly, I'm not too confident in its abilities. Just gonna speed up and get into the dogfight as fast as we can. The rest of the guys are coming from our rear to the left. Yep, that way. Yep, there we go. We've got Hugin already. Hugin's in sight. Alright, so we got HPA and missiles. Alright. Let's see what happens here. The information infrastructure down is the only place capable of wide area data transmission. Drones are waiting for it to power up again. Ooh. That was very close. Got one hit. All aircraft converge on Skull Squadron. Surround and shoot him down. Strider 3, copy. Let's do it. Who should the enemy be? God. UAV reacting. Damn, they're fast. All aircraft converge on Come on. Come on. Turn. Turn, you bastard. Turn and face me. Ugh. Oh, jeez. We already killed him. That's not what I meant to do, honestly. I didn't know it would kill him that fast. That's a shame. I really wanted to keep Soul 2 around. You only have a very small amount of time though if Soul 2... God. That's a shame. Soul 2... I really wanted to save Soul 2. Really would have liked to have done that faster. Didn't do too bad though for an untried aircraft and an untried pilot. Um, yeah, really would have liked to have saved Soul 2. You have like 30 seconds, I think, between shooting one down and the other one. Here we go. Dogfight number two. Nope, that's not... Oh, well, that was a waste of missiles. Those aren't going to hit. Oh, God. What are you doing? Stop circling. Stop it. It may very well be trying to read me. I hate this thing so m Oh god, I stalled. Come on, there we go. Fired probably more missiles than it needed, but we shot it down. Not bad. How many pilots did we... I mean, we, we didn't lose too many. We got one, two, three, all of my squadron. Whee! So can this do a full PSM? Nope, it cannot do a full PSM. Okay. Kind of sad. Uh oh. I hear static. Look at that tower. Look at that lighting. Look at that. Where is it? Shoot it down. 
So I'm curious, can this one just do, like, it can't do the full Cobra, can it? Is it Pachekrov's Cobra, I think is what the maneuver is called? So this one can only do a partial where it lays up and then back down? It's very curious. Alright, we're probably going to crash here. Actually, we're definitely going to crash here, so... I also had someone stupid enough to try and tell me an F-18 can do a Cobra, and I'm just like, you realize Cobras require thrust vectoring, right? If anybody has a list of every aircraft, realistically, that can do a Cobra, please let me know down in the comments below, because I'm pretty sure an F-18 has never done a Cobra, and never will, unless they give it a thrust vectoring engine like the F-35 or the F-22. Which pretty much should become common practice in most aircraft now, like... Because we're getting into 5th generation, even 6th generation fighters. So thrust vectoring should just become a common thing, shouldn't it? Oh, damn it. I tried. Oh, I can't see anything. I smoked myself out. That was a good try. How am I locked on through a solid... Like wall. Don't worry, I'll think of something. I'll find us a way out. Will you? Don't know if I trust you. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. Oh jeez. Woo! It? Slow down. I'm going too fast. Alright, well I know I'm gonna have to change the direction here now. Oh, it just wants us to go to the center line, that's fine. Oh god, it's behind me. Stop it. Get away. I've seen some people go through this tunnel, like, at mock Jesus, and I'm just like, I don't know how. I'm too nervous to do that, and not good enough of a pilot, I suppose. I'm using the wrong missiles right now. <laughs> they look similar to me. That is quite the problem, isn't it? Uh oh. I don't have the machine gun lock on this one. Means I actually have to be good with my machine gun. That's not good. Okay, well, no machine gun locks needed. Really wish I could have saved Soul 2, that's saddening. Yes, I know your way out of here, and it's gonna be death. I don't know. I'm probably actually going to crash. Legitimately gonna crash doing this. Oh god, I'm so terrified. This game and frickin' tunnels, I swear. Oh, that was one of the entry points. Okay, I have to look for the red. There it is. It's right here. Try not to stall it. Don't stall it. Oh jeez, here we go. Okay, so last time I did this, I was in an F-22, which is an extremely stable aircraft. Um. I'm not saying this isn't stable, I'm just saying on the way up, it definitely is leaving some stuff to be desired. Can we just full throttle and get out of here, maybe? Yes! We did it! Woohoo! One shot and done, the way it's meant to be, with an untried aircraft that I have only used probably once before. I wonder how the Terminator would have done, though. Didn't save Soul 2. It's pretty saddening. But it's kind of how it goes, I suppose. Look at that. Freaking gorgeous. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation this mission went a lot faster than I thought it would be last time I dog fought them for probably five, ten minutes. 
I was in a dogfight for them for a while. Tell me something. What color's the sky up there? Dark blue. Which is my favorite color. This game has been so fun to play for the channel. And uh it's almost emotional that it's kind of like the end of an era, you know. We've had 10 months on the channel. It's our first year. And we've had so much support, so much more than I thought I would, honestly. Like, still a very small channel by every means of the word small, like less than a thousand subscribers, but I didn't think I would hit almost 600 in the first 10 months or in the first year, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just super appreciative to those who have supported me from the beginning and those who are here right now and will possibly click subscribe at the bottom of the channel and hit the bell if you do that but anyway oh that's a gorgeous shot right there that is a screenshot if i've ever seen one that mission that screenshot right there is freaking gorgeous would have looked better with my f-22 there though just saying to skies unknown the path to mankind's vast future remains but yeah i just Granddad. it's been such an awakening to be on this channel and put myself out there and I was so nervous on the first video and now I just keep going and I'm gonna keep going the unfortunately the the there will probably about a be a month break around March to April um I am moving back to America so my computer will be in storage so there probably won't be too much content Thanks to the then process. But that's a then problem, and this is a now problem, and I just I just really want to say thank you to everybody, and I hope everybody's had a happy holidays over the past week, no matter what your religion is. I celebrate Yule, some people celebrate Hanukkah, some people have Christmas, and, you know. I'm just glad and hope everybody had a happy whatever you celebrate. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Poor strange reel. I feel like it's always at war. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us too. Yep, because his aircraft never blew up. We just disabled I never it. Wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. God. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation. This is. This game has been so beautiful, and I just love playing it for the channel. I'm still gonna play it for the channel. I'm definitely gonna try and do the S rank, and I'm gonna try and increase my skills. I'm not a great pilot by any means, but I'm going to try and get better and provide some better content. There's some guys out there that are ridiculous pilots, the guys that can fly like their planes backwards and using Belkin magic and all that shenanigans. There's Harling. The end of the Lighthouse War. So this war took place over what? About a year? I, I didn't even look at the timeline, honestly. I think it was about a year. Dark blue. To the heavens and beyond. This game has just been so beautiful. And such a good game for my channel. This and Cliff Empire are my two most popular series. And it's it really is sad to be saying goodbye to this series. Or at least the commentary version of this series. Because... It's just been so fun, and I've had so much fun with everybody that's supported the channel on this series. Can you hear me? Who are you talking to? Okay, we're going to skip the credits, though, because there's music, and it is most likely copyrighted, so we're just going to go ahead and... Yep, right there, we're just going to skip that. I'm not getting a copyright claim because of music and a... <laughs> and we're not doing this game again. Not today, YouTube. You and your shitty rules. Let's see what rank... Oh, we got an A rank. Of course we did. Oh, well. We shot down two of their... Oh, we just shot down... What? So it gave us points for shooting them down and then points for shooting them down again. That's broken. And five ground tart. Oh, I get it. ADF 11s and then their actual drone parts. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Have a happy New Year's, and uh, don't forget to check out the merchandise down below. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.